Welcome Cancer, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of May the 27th to June the 3rd, 2019. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing to them. Please be sure to click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these are out on open air on YouTube to view. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card may not resonate with every single cancer out there, but if some of it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will direct you to my website where you can see the services that I offer. Also, the information is listed below this video. Okay, Cancer, let's see what our all over energy is. Well, you've got the moon. It's a, it's a, a major card, my beautiful Cancers. It's all about you having, uh, you know, tapping into your own intuition, tapping into your own insight, your own psychic insights, and knowing that there may be information or uh, events going on behind the scenes and you may want to find out what they are or they you may find out and you will find out what they are but it's all in divine timing I want you to release any of the fears that are holding you back you're allowing them to take over and rent space in your head it's probably justifiable cancer that you have these fears but it blocks you to move forward in a positive direction it blocks you of your joy and happiness and your ability to stand tall with confidence and move towards your own personal goals. So let it go. Wait until this information is revealed that's going on behind the scenes. But in the meantime, plot forward. Put your head down and move towards the light. You know, the moon is a beautiful, big, bright beacon. It illuminates everything below it at the darkest times of our lives and our days and our moments. So think of that brightness. Move forward. Stop worrying about things. Don't allow your fear to lead you on your path. Because my beautiful, beautiful Cancers, you've got the world. It doesn't get much better than that. Things are going to improve. Full circle here. You're going to be able to set your compass and move in the direction that you want to move in. This is a time of positive change for you. And a situation will suddenly move forward for you before you know it. It's like you're feeling like fortune's on your side. So know that, you know, this moon moment will pass, okay? And you'll be able to move forward on your path. Because right next to that beautiful Cancer, you got the magician. It's like magic's on your side. Things are going to come to full circle. It's, you know, everything's working out in your favor and you're ready. You're ready pretty much and you have the resources and the ability to manifest where it is you want to go, what you want to do, and who you want to take with you. So... Things will work out in your favor. You will find out what you need to find out here. Let go of that fear. You've got two side by side here, the wheel and the magician. Things are going to eventually work out for you. It's all divine timing. Again, you have to let this headspace go. Stop worrying so much, Cancer. Let it go, okay? You're expecting the worst to come out of a situation to the point where it's a, some of you are actually losing sleep over it because you're worrying and thinking about it constantly. And I'm not saying that it isn't justifiable. I'm sure some of you have been going through some very challenges, challenging times this last while. And you know what? It still plays on your mind. But let it go because you are going to see the end of this situation. You didn't get the death card, but it's showing me that there's going to be new positive energy coming into you, positive change coming into you. You have the time, effort, and resources now being sent to you divinely and universally saying you're ready for this move. You're ready to move on, so stop worrying. Wow, Cancer, pretty straightforward here. I don't have to spend much time on this reading. Wow. So, you know, you got two cards that, you know you're worrying and two cards that say to stop worrying okay so those are amazing cards of positive energy things will work out it's going to take time it's all about divining divine timing my friends let's see what we've got here from the letterman let's see what we can have here we need three cards here for my beautiful cancers well you got the snake that's not somebody i like very much but we'll talk about that this is all you know energy oops you've got good news coming in with that beautiful beautiful magician card good news coming in for you beautiful beautiful and there's your final outcome card there's your home there's your happy life 
Okay, the snake is all about someone that you <clears throat> may come into your circle, slither in, and they may want to, uh, they may appear to be one thing, and then there's one little thing that you might say, do, or suspect about them that triggers them, and then they snap with their venomous, venomous attack. So be careful of someone who comes in. I call this like the player card. They slither in, they let on, they're so cool and so crafty and so perfect, and then all of a sudden, wham, they show their true colors. So you know what? They can shed their skin and be one way one minute and another the other. So this is just a cautionary card. Be careful who you draw into your circle. Now, with the magician, you're going to hear good news. This is beautiful. It could be. It's notarized. It could be legal uh, uh, legal uh, news coming in, and it's good. Or it can be governmental, something that, you know, will get signed. Perhaps some of you, it has to do with moving forward, getting a job, where you're going to sign a contract with someone, uh, or some sort of legal and binding uh, partnership here. There's your home. There's your happy home life. Think of the number four. I want you to keep that four in your mind, Cancers. I always see the number four, even though it, you know, it, it, well, there it is. There's your four. It is a four. But even before that, I always see this as fours. So think of that number. Something's going to come up to do with the number four that's important. It could be, you know, where you're going to live, an address. It could be, uh, you know, a time span, four days, four weeks, four months, whatever. The four is very significant. It could be a date of a birth, uh, you know, something like that. But this is a home. This is security. You're going to have security in your home again. You may be a family of four for some of you, but please know that you will have the security, the stability, and the, and the happiness in a home again. All right, let's see what we've got here with our beautiful answers from our angels. Well, you got communicate clearly. So you know what? Anything that you're dealing with, if it has to do with a relationship, a partner, if it has to do with uh, putting your ideas down on paper, meeting for interviews, whatever it is, make sure you let them know what it is clearly, what you want and what you expect. The situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In person, discussions are preferable, but if that's not appropriate or convenient or possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. Pretty straightforward. Communicate, my beautiful Cancers. Make sure you let everybody know clearly what it is you expect and want. Well, your final outcome card is gorgeous. You've got Archangel Gabrielle, Messenger of Creativity and Hope Cancer. Archangel Raphael speaks to you through your heart and soul. Gabrielle means God is my strength, guides hopeful parents, infertility and child conception, giving them courage and strength. He is the angel of communication and the arts, inspiring and motivating you in your creative pursuit. His presence offers enthusiasm and encouragement in the creative fields. His guides, artists, he guides artists, authors, musicians and dancers to reach their full potential and live their purpose. If you work with children personally or professionally, you will find Gabrielle by your side with loving guidance and support. Beautiful. Archangel Gabrielle is my Archangel. That's my angel. My guide is called Gabby, so it's quite interesting. I love Archangel Gabrielle. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Cancers, I want you to remember that the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and your happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and no cancer that I only stand in this circle of love and light for you always.